Welcome to Historial World, in this video we are going to explore the Scottish Highlands. So, let's get started. Highland is a council area in the Scottish Highlands and is the largest local government area in the United Kingdom. Why visit the Scottish Highlands? Alongside the natural drama, this is also an ancient landscape. Louisian gneiss and Torridonian sandstone are some of the oldest rocks in the world, and with age come intoxicating stories. History in the Highlands is very much of the living, palpably raw variety. This is not just wilderness, but rather a region shorn of its people in the notorious Highland clearances of the 18th and 19th centuries. The sense of tragedy, of a land lost, of bonny princes and hopeless causes imbues the hills with a unique sense of place and identity that goes much deeper than kilts and bagpipes. Best time to visit the Scottish Highlands any time of year is a good time to visit, as each season brings its own joys, from watching the Highland games in summer, to steaming the rails as autumn colors the land. But if you're ready to go now, springtime is ideal for hunting for mac hare wildflowers up in the Inner Hebrides, its northern isles fall under the Highland Council, while you could be among the first to tackle the new trails that are breathing fresh life into the glens and lochs. How to get around the Scottish Highlands getting around this vast wildscape has never been easier. The North Coast 500 road trip, created in 2015, has opened up the Highlands to a new breed of visitor, with their motorbikes, campervans and convertible cars. Investment is piling in along the route and elsewhere, as local businesses realize the benefits of extending the season, while getting there has also improved. How many days should you spend in the Scottish Highlands? You could spend weeks and weeks exploring the Scottish Highlands. If you're willing to pack in your activities quite tightly, you could probably spend two or three days exploring the area. Explore the North Coast 500 more world-class driving awaits as you return to the mainland, pausing in arguably the prettiest Highland village, Plockton. Break east along Loch Cairn, stopping for photos at the viewpoint before joining the North Coast 500 and Scotland's most notorious road. The Beeloch Na Ba sweeps from sea level up a series of switchbacks to a height of 626 metres. Be sure to walk away from the viewpoint to feel the solitude and watch the Hebrides unfold in front of you, then ease closer to the Atlantic for a seafood lunch in the remote Applecross Inn. What else is there to do in the Scottish Highlands? Cruise Loch Ness. Track, Nessie, down with Jacobite, who operate a fleet of cruise boats across the expanse of 37 kilometers long Loch Ness, pictured. Scan the waters or enjoy a dram in style as the geological fault line of the Great Glen unfurls all around. Ride the rails. The Jacobite steam train between Malag and Fort William is one of the most spectacular train trips you will ever experience, as you ride the Iron Road to the Isles. The return trip eats up a lot of time, though, so you may want to bus, taxi one way. Scale the mountains. Walking in the Scottish mountains is a serious business. The well-equipped and fit can enjoy a taster on Bean A National Nature Reserve's 6.5 km mountain trail without having to be exposed on a highland peak. There is a gentler option, too, that sticks to the lower slopes. Print a guide instead of relying on there being one for free in the car park.